So it's good afternoon from Joff at Moe Hotel Adventures. Good afternoon. Uh, right, okay, what is he up to today? Well, what has actually happened is, on the recent motor home trip when we were away, we're always like discussing, me and Caroline are always like, discussing methods of uh, maybe improving slightly, uh, just a small upgrade, stuff like that to uh, improve Everlink. Um, so anyway, it's time to have a look at the underneath of these mattresses. And what I'm gonna be trying to do today, uh, well initially, um, so Caroline's ripped all the bedding off, just left me with the, um, the pillows on the beds that are easily moved. And then we, we were sort of like looking under here and we were away. And uh, it was when we ended up coming back up to Northern Spain and uh, the temperature really like plummeted. And uh, Caroline was saying like, it just feels cold under the, under the mattresses. Anyway, um, we, we li literally had these pulled up, and uh, anyway, I got an for one, I need to get under there with a vacuum cleaner when I get back. So the first job in a minute is trying vacuum up all the dust. I'm going to get the vacuum in, I've got the vacuum here, I'm just going to get in it, crack in here, get all the dust removed. There's, no, there's not a pile of it, but just like give it a bit of a freshen up. And then what we're gonna try and do is lay some of this insulation, um, silver insulation, uh, down through the center to try and give us like an insulated layer uh, bet between, um, so underneath, obviously underneath here in the 690G is the garage. And it takes a bit of heating up to be fair. It's only got one um, Trumer outlet in there. So that big space is quite like, um, yeah, it's a big space and yeah, we're just trying to sort of maybe get that little bit of insulation between that space, this bit of board, because underneath here is basically the garage. So that's what we're going to be trying to achieve today and uh, okay, let's crack on. I'm going to get the Hoover going. So I just ended up ripping the other mattress off at the same time and uh, hoovered that side as well. Uh, got all the dust out, give it a real good wipe round with a little J cloth. Um, got all the ventilation. Uh, there, there is like a trunk in for the trumer piped all the way up this edge with all these little cutouts to blow the air up round, all the way up round the top. Um, so I've got all the uh, the dust out of them. So this is the actual product we've ended up with. This multi-purpose insulation, and they recommend it lightweight, flexible, and easy to install. No harmful fibers or irrit irritants. Retains heat in your home. Save energy, money. Protect against cold. So it's obviously. Um, all sorts of applications prevent penetrating damp and condensation ideal for boats camper vans garage doors sheds pets houses summer houses so that's the material we've got here and um, this roll is approximately uh, 600 mil wide by 10 meters in length so um, I'm looking just to put it like down through the center under these uh, rails um, because, uh, yeah, we still got the, so you want that kind of airflow underneath around here. Um, it comes up from the garage, around the sides of this, but the blown air um, literally pumps up around the back of this panel and sort of comes up round. Um, yeah, so, and down at the back, the pipe ends about there. So there's this kind of like area here where uh, it still can come along, the heat can come along there. But uh, the main place is this big void area that I want to try and cover. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a case of getting it right up there and then just uh, unrolling it. 
all the way down to the bottom and uh, cut it to length and uh, see so if we can, um, I've got some insulation tape as well, like a proper silver foil tape. So I've kind of like tucked it under there. I'm just getting the, 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 make sure it's right up as far as it'll go. So it'll probably just tuck under there a little bit. Um, I've taken a couple of these slats out and it looks fairly straightforward. Coming down this end, yeah, just, if you just sort of like peel the rubber back, these slats just come out fairly simple, to be honest. Just sort of peel the rubber back. I'm going to keep them in order over that side because these are slightly different lengths as they taper off to the bottom. Let's remove that one as well into there. And the last one. And then I can uh, slot the foil back down this end and probably chop it a little bit more tidy. So I've got into the rhythm a little bit and I thought, well, it's easier just to pop these out. So it's just a case of once you get the rhythm going, let's just bend them back off they go, so now I can actually get the foil right the way down through. Okay, just uh, run the foil down. Plenty of material here, sort of 10 meters, plenty enough, so I think I'm gonna roughly chomp it off. I think we're gonna make a Leave it a couple of inches, make it a little bit more easier. I've got plenty of material, so I'm just going to uh, chop off a couple of inches. So in the end, I've literally taken all these slats away, got in the rhythm, they're easy to come out. Don't know what they like to go back in, probably just as easy. And uh, I'm going to just like leave probably about an inch and a half gap either side. Um, I've got this foil tape that um, is used for like air ducting systems, air conditioning, all that sort of stuff. So it's kind of like a uh, reflective kind of silver material there it is there. So uh, I think what I'm going to do, um, so obviously with the slats removed now, I can just like run down each edge of the, 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 uh, the foil and uh, just lay it right down and just tape it down. So I've just cut off a couple of little rectangle shapes so I'm just going to pin the corners with this get it sort of even and then uh, I've got a nice blade that I'm going to um, use to trim it so I'm just going to pin the corners with some of that tape it's quite foily that's it's very nice stuff actually there we go it's going to pin that one down there I'll do the same the other end so we'll just uh, pin it up that end as well That. And we've got that nice little gap running all the way down the edge for the roll all the way down and then trim the ends let's do this top corner let's pull over the slack and then just pin it down Okay, so we're just uh, going to trim off. Um, I've just come down on the taper now, so I, it doesn't need to be excessively. So I'm just going to run this blade down, just trim off that excess. Nice and neat, right into the corner. Nice and tight into the corner. go I think I can just come virtually vertical in fact I'll just uh, I think I'll just come along that bottom edge just come right along that bottom edge right into the corner to meet the incision I just made like that there that's pretty cool then I can, ju I can just um, tack that corner in there with a little bit and uh, that'll, that'll lie down actually. I, I could trim it off and tape it, but I think it will just uh, lie down. Um, in fact, I could literally do a little right angle um, join along there, just 
stick it on with the right angle, I think. So we'll measure up with the roll. Just run it down. with the scissors a mark in there let's trim that off with the scissors lovely snip Tighter, a little bit tighter. It's not all the world. Whoa, it's that uh, cheesy stuff. But um, it's coming good. It's coming nice. Look at that. Oh. Right the way down. lying in quite nicely now we'll take down both sides just the end to deal with which I think I'm just gonna run a little right angle piece along there just to tidy it off but um, yeah that's looking super nice it sort of kind of stems from the days a little bit of um, when we were like motorcycling and uh, we used to have like thermal rest mattresses underneath our uh, sleeping bags and it was kind of like this this kind of like insulation stuff in them just to get yourself off the ground just get that little tiny bit of insulation in between the ground and your and your sleeping bag just makes all the difference you know so uh, this is the case, same kind of principle I think really so we're to uh, be interesting to see how it kind of maps out for that insulation of the mattresses it's, uh, right just a little bit of finish off in the corner the end guys it's all like uh, reasonably tidy uh, not too bad this stuff here you got to be really this foil stuff just be uh, super careful with it as soon as it sticks together it's a real nightmare to get apart I've, uh, there's only a couple of bits left over honestly but um, as soon as it but you got plenty on the roll it's a big roll of it so uh, not bothered like that I got plenty plenty of uh, material but um, yeah when it just like touches together boom it's stuck so uh, but that's that's super nice it's all laid in there really good um, I think uh, I don't really even need am I gonna go down that I'm gonna go down that edge I've got loads of material I'm gonna do this edge as well just to keep it nice and tidy let's just do that edge as well easy enough measure it out look just hold it down snip that off we 
right, the difficulty of <laughs> not so much uh, material sticking together, but uh, Joffy's big fingers not too sociable with peeling the back in. There it is. And this is where you've got to be super careful with that material. But I'm gonna, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go in there like that. Let's pull it down. Just go on, just try and go onto the wood. And try and get it onto the wood. I think that is just gonna be as good as it gets. As soon as it sticks, there is no release for this stuff. It's literally on, but um, that'll just uh, hold it down. That's good enough. It's not really a visual visual thing underneath the bed, but um, just try and get it nice and neat. But uh, that's feeling really good. Excellent. So it's not too bad to get these back in. It's literally a peel back the rubber and should be the best part of the afternoon. No, there it is, there's another one. Right, I'm gonna get the rhythm going if I can, possibly. It seems to be easier for me to come this way, I think, across ways. And little wriggle, there she is, in she goes. Another one in there. So it's not too difficult to remove all them slats. So that's one. One's got a little, ta the, the ones on the taper, I've got little tapers on. Let's get into that rhythm. There's another one. Last one with a little taper. Peel that rubber back a little bit like that. Oh, if he can get, come on Joff, get the rhythm going. Get the rhythm going. There he is, in she goes. Right, now just on the straight ones. <laughs> so I had a couple of coffee made for me about half an hour ago. So uh, I've just shed my sweatshirt because I'm getting a bit uh, warm in here. Tea break time. So there it is guys, not long and I've got all the slats back in. Uh, so now I've got the other side to do. So I think what I'm gonna do, obviously it takes me a little bit of time to uh, do the camera th operation. So it is 3.25 on Saturday afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna crack into this side and see what kind of like time I can do it in just to give you guys an aspect of what you can achieve. Um, doing this job if you want to do this job okay so i'm gonna just bolt on with it and uh, i'll see you hopefully in about three quarters of an hour so there it is guys i'm nearly at the end of the second installation and we're getting into the swing of these things now as well it's just a case of uh, getting the technique going falling into place so we'll have a look at the time this this is um so when you're fluffing around the camera like i do uh what are we on we are on 10 to 4 so literally just over 20 minutes um to complete that job um obviously a little bit um because it's this side is absolutely straight so it's straight down on the ends up through the center and uh, there you go so around 20 minutes and that job is complete anybody else done this job or any other jobs like this um insulation i want to know about it because um, i've got a shed loads of this stuff left over um 
yeah it'll be really interesting to see how this pans out and uh yeah it's um it's a great this this van is like a great system with all these vents coming up the side it blows the air up around your mattress but like i say underneath we were just a little bit concerned because it it sort of does tend to feel a little bit colder um so it will just be really interesting to see how this pans out and maybe um cooler in the summer I don't know so a uh, bit of insulation um, obviously it works with the silver screens and stuff like that so um hopefully it just give us that nice little bit of insulation under the mattresses and uh, right i'm going to shut the mattresses on uh, caroline is um behind the scenes logistics she is actually um taking off the our red uh, bedding okay right back on the mattress yeah so the red what we call our winter bed in the Morrison Co. The red one is uh, now off till next winter. And uh, so Caroline is actually getting our spring collection ready in there with the ironing um, board, doing the, all the ironing. She saw it, this is a nightmare of this stuff to uh, iron. She saw, I've d done it about three times and I still can't get it right. So, she, so hopefully it's going to be all looking really cool again soon. So it's just a nice little freshen up after the trip. She's um, got all that old bed in, all our um, mattress protectors, all that sort of stuff in the laundry and uh, get it all freshened up but look at this lot oh back on the bed oh look at this roll on next weekend Woo! what, what are we doing job I don't even know yet but um, yeah insulation install complete give us a thumbs up give us a uh, comment on this what do you think guys have you done anything similar right I'm gonna wrap this job up I've got all this paper and swag to get rid of but uh, thanks for watching the video this may be inspired you to do a little insulation job under your beds if it needs it but um, it was interesting to see if it makes any difference on the insulation when it gets really cold